Hey, this is Jen with True Forum. We're here on a nice, beautiful, rainy day, typical Eugene, Oregon weather. Um, but we love to build tiny houses here. So right now we have an Urban Park Max behind me. It's about 400 square feet, just under 400 square feet, 39 feet long. Um, some really nice features in it, some custom window orientations, a couple other nice little features that our clients were really excited about. We went through a design process and this is what we hit. So let's go take a look. So here we are in our Urban Park Max inside. We're entering right into the living room, but you can see real quickly that we have not, um, we actually didn't stage this one, but I really wanted to show you guys what this one was about before we set it off down, down the road to our client. So this is a nice kind of orientation for this kitchen. It's our classic Urban Park Max orientation, but they have some nice custom red oak and um, red oak cabinetry with the white kind of lowers. So this is unique for, for us. Um, right away, we're stepping into this pantry. It's a custom pantry unit. You can pull out the drawers above. So there's a lot of access. There's actually some outlets in the back for various um, charging opportunities. And of course, there's drawers down below and storage above. Um, our client here wanted a, a more, a wider, a larger fridge. And so this one, can't remember what exact size it is, but it's bigger, significantly bigger than our standard one. Um, and then as we come around, we do have the four burner gas range with a gas oven. Um, there's of course a hood above it that vents to the outside. And we do have this little microwave opportunity up here. I know it is high and it's out of the way, but this is a, a pretty unique solution for for our clients. Um, lots of storage, everything soft close. As you can see, it all shuts really nicely. Really nice craftsmanship for everything. I mean, we can highlight the cabinetry. We can highlight the table. This is considered a piece of furniture. We do this in-house as well. Um, we do have the, the sink that's a multifunctional sink. You can see cutting board is right here, as well as a drying rack. Um, of course, you can have just your pull-down faucet. One of the features we like to sneak in all the time is a pull out spice and oil rack. So you can access it from both sides and it fully pulls out. And this one has a quite a unique, um, I mean, it's a garbage and recycling station, but we devoted space for that. We do have our open shelving a little bit on that side and a little bit behind me over there just for that display type of shelving. Um, these fixtures, as we go into the living space, um, we, I always notice how how impressive our light fixtures are. So these are a porcelain-based light fixture. Of course, it kind of cascades over this island. I mean, it could be movable too. So we definitely consider this a table. Couch space, as you can imagine, this is a nice little relaxing spot. And we have, you know, there could be an ottoman here. So nice, enough space to really kind of create the, the uh, spot that you want. All above here, we have these large windows that bring in a huge amount of light into the space and into this hallway where there's lots of light as well. Our staircase will always have tons of storage in it. I love pulling the drawers out, so I have to show everybody how many drawer options we have. Um, so this is just part of living in a compact lifestyle. And we do have this large space where there's gonna be a future washer dryer all in one unit and it's all prepped to go. Let's step back into the downstairs bedroom. And this is actually sized for a king size bed. King size right in the middle, you can walk around the sides. And then we also have a lot of uh, storage for closet space. There's hanging storage and of course in drawers below. So lots of armoire type storage here. We have places for TV hookups, if that is something that you like to see. As we go back through the hallway, um, I'm going to just peek upstairs a little bit because the upstairs is so versatile and you could have it be a studio if you wanted to be a workspace or you, of course you could have a, a sleeping space or a couple sleeping spaces. So these are, you know, this is a massive amount of space. You could have different areas that are kind of cordoned off. We do have a place if this is, wants to be a media spot. So 
as you can see, there's enough headroom in here to kind of maneuver around and there's not like valleys or stuff like that. So the, the head clearance is actually really nice. I'm gonna come down these waterfall stairs and into the bathroom. Now, I am really excited about this bathroom. Um, we put a lot of attention to this tile and it's this large format tile. Um, we will put a glass door on here as well. So, you know, it's a walk-in shower. It's a beautiful little experience there. Custom vanity. We build all these in-house and they're <clears throat> hickory based. So it's a beautiful little setup. Of course, our cleanable sink above it. So there you have it, our quick walkthrough. Urban Park Max. You can always look on our website, trueformtiny.com.